Hello, Rick here video. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Psychic Cup here as we kind of have to do, sadly, some battles against viewers only because I'm currently on vacation, so like I cannot really play this cup. I still kind of want to showcase some cool teams here. So you're also going to see one a video about this cup tomorrow as well, but I don't think the difference is that huge anyway. As we're currently still in the beginning of the season, we still see pretty similar stuff, and I battled a lot of uh, legend players who also try harder, which is actually what I really want to see. So, like, those battles should be still pretty fine. We see here the best Pokemon in the cup, which is going to be Victini, which also, like, the main showcase is going to be around here. We have a team here around it with the Malama. Malama going to be the only real viable Dark type as well in this meta. Going to be, of course, nice in a Psychic type only meta. And we have all the, also the Bronzong here. My first opponent, he I know that he always uses Spice. Like, he is a very good player, whatever. He's just love using Spice. So I really appreciate his teams always. It's always fun to play against him. I'm just going to give him this um, kill here with the Meow Stick. Um, with the Shadow Ball. He always uses Bite. He, he's here. I think he even, it was the guy that also is like next up in the area. I'm not sure. But like he definitely know, knows how to play. He just likes to play it a little bit differently than other people. We see here a Metagross against us. I should swap out eventually anyway into my Victini. As I can get a shield here, but my backline is really good against it. But they're actually going to let the move go through. They actually survived this, which is interesting. We see a Claydol coming in. Claydol seems to be a hard counter here, of course. As we can go ahead, go for one more more we create as we gonna get the shield and we can go for an overheat which does more than we create and we will see that we're gonna get another shield so what are we going to do now we're going to go of course into our um malama here as we're going to be able to swipe every kind of move here especially if it's a heavy slam but it's only a shadow ball it's also fine for us we're going to go for one foul play here and we hopefully can farm this thing down now with our bronzong hope they don't get to another move and they do get to another move so we have to shield the potential earthquake here actually kind of crazy you also learn earth power which is a little bit better for you but um yeah just a different note we see the Slowbro coming in, we see the Slowbro going out, and we see the Metagross going out, and we see the Clydol going out. What a sweep at the end came there in 5 seconds by the um, Bronzong there, very good Pokemon. We see a Jirachi against us here. Jirachi is actually pretty decent in this cup as well, because you're going to be able to resist also psychic type moves like double, and you have a very good charge move there with the um, Doom Desire. But actually, funny enough, if you look on PvP Poke, I think I'm pretty sure it says that you should run Charge Beam, which is like a move that you rarely really see to be honest it's a horrible move it's basically the same energy generation and turns as um bubble but the uh, ch the charge beam just doesn't do the damage to be honest it just doesn't do the damage of bubble i really hope that it would make the charge beam a little bit better because charge beam kind of sounds like a move that does a lot of generate a lot of energy maybe something like rollout would be cool for charge beam but right now it doesn't really charge a lot with charge beam we see here the psychic from the jirachi definitely doom desire is the better move to go for as we see the opponent coming into the victini again we can shield this move up that's going to be a weak create we will be able to go now for one final move here and i guess i the opponent's theme team was triple mythical i actually didn't realize it at the time i was like okay why do you use a celebi in this meta but kind of funny we see the next opponent having the ladias in the lead here we can go ahead and go for some foul plays of course as the foul play is going to be super effective ladios is way better than ladias just because the ladias sadly doesn't have the access to dragon claw here they always have to go for a nuke like the outrage so you're going to be a little bit better off with your Malama. You can go ahead, go for another charge move here. This might already KO the opponent, I'm not sure. They're going to shield this move up and they're going to swap onto the next one into a Wobberfat, which will have access to counter and the return. I can go ahead, go into my Victini and farm up extra until they go for the return. I don't want to throw my charge move before they go for one return because now I am not debuffed yet onto this charge move. We can go for one, we create here, and we will be able to do some pretty nice damage against this XL Wobbuffet still. And we can power, uh, go up to another recreate here, go for that. Should be able to KO the opponent, and we can still go for another one into the next incoming Pokemon, which is going to be 
the Aladia Sashov actually went for the over. He does more damage and would most likely even do, um, wouldn't even KO there. But we see the Melema coming in, which is going to be an interesting last matchup here. So we can go for one payback, trying to pay back this Melema. We will be able to farm this thing all the way down, hopefully. They have to go for three foul plays in order to KO me. Let's see if they can get there. First move comes through, gonna hit me, second move I'm going to shield, and they don't think that I get to another move, but they actually do get to another move. So that's going to be a loss here, sadly. Um, I will not be able to do anything here, or can I? I can farm this thing down with my McTini, go for a last second we create there with like a 1 HP and a dream, and this will be enough to KO the Ladias. Good game there to my opponent. Next up, we're going to see the Malama against Victini again. Very decent lead for us, but also actually not really. I kind of would recommend you just even swap into the Victini onto uh, their charge move, like after five turns. We see the Lugia coming in here. I didn't realize it fast enough that I just hardwall this thing with the Bronzong. I thought like, okay, maybe I just go for a charge move and I should be fine. But I should have just went straight into my Bronzong. Bronzong also with energy now will be able to do some pretty nice damage against the incoming Victini. They have to kind of shield this move up and I'm fine if they shield this move up because I'm going to get a shield advantage now. And I also get some damage on this Victini as well. I Am I going to shield this? I'm actually going to shield this move. They can go to another one. Doesn't really matter. I can go for one heavy slam here. Actually, maybe I should have let this, maybe shield this move as well. I can go into my own Bikini, they go into their Ranguru, and I can go into my Melema. Melema going to be able to triple resist confusion damage by a Ranguru. The um, charge move here of foul play is neutral only, so this is definitely my best answer for this Pokemon. And I will be able to farm up a little bit. No, actually not farming up anything extra. But I will be able to force the opponent to go for one recreate with their Victini, which means that they're going to lower their defenses. They actually have to still shield this move up, and I will be able to easily win this game now with my own Victini, because they're actually going to throw here. They, the only play there was to farm me down, to be honest, which didn't help them either, to be honest, as I can just go for another one here and win this game. Good game to my opponent. As we can see that this one definitely KOs the Victini. Next opponent, we're going to see here that they are going to have a Clay Doll. Clay Doll going to be a little bit of a tricky one, as we can go for one foul play here. Um, foul play going to do some nice damage. Let's see what they're going to shield this move up actually That's kind of crazy as we can go now for another foul play and this will hopefully now do nice damage Never mind they're shielding it up again. They are just at the move. We generate energy way faster than them They have mud slap. They go for the rock tomb. I guess it does make sense now that they tried to Avoid taking damage early as it's now debuffed and they it doesn't do as en enough to actually completely KO this thing We can just try to go for one more foul play, try to farm down, but they actually go into their own Melema. They kind of play this a little bit wrong. Maybe I should have. I guess this is my best Melema answer, actually. I think I'm fine. I can go for an overheat. This should not KO the opponent yet, but it does a lot of damage. Never mind, it does KO the opponent yet. Let's see what they're going to go into now. We are debuffed. It's a rapid dash. We can still go for one recreate, but they can farm us all the way down, which is going to be a little bit scary at least. We can go for a nice move there as they go ahead and I hope that they throw here. They throw here. It's going to be the body slam. I can go now to my bronzong and hopefully to farm them down. I hope that this is not a mega horn. It is a mega horn. I have to hope that the next one isn't a mega horn. It just shouldn't be right and isn't so I should be able to win this game by farming down the clay down. That's going to be a good game. Next up we're going to see the next opponent having Melama against Melama. We have a mirror here of course if they win CMP you think it might be better for them but it really depends on the IV spread. There are people out there saying that you should have a very high attack IV spread for the Melama to in order basically to win CMP the CMP tie against the Victini. Definitely a good idea, but the problem with this is you will lose this matchup against the other Melema because Melema will not be able to take two foul plays anymore. This is also why I'm not really a friend of those crazy IV spread calculations where you get the hit, like the, I don't know, bulk point through and whatever, and where you get the hit, uh, what's called the damage point through and whatever. Because at the end of the day, there are some matchups that you don't really see on some calculations that you're going to lose because of this. And in my opinion, just going for the safe route and just go straight for the um, best IV spread possible, the most, um, I don't know, like the most bulk is, in my opinion, a lot of times the better thing. I guess in like 
regionals or whatever where you have a lot of CMP ties having a little bit more of attack. I see this as a good thing, but like those specific types where you have like then 11 attack and stuff like this. I'm not the biggest fan of it, at least. Like I'm, I know that people like it and I know that a lot of people are looking for it, but for me at least, I don't really feel like it as we catch perfectly the move here on our Melema. And we can go for one payback against this Rangaroo, winning us the game here again because we have the very high stat product Melema. We will be able to win this, but there's a other side towards it as well as you're going to see in this battle because I rem remember this battle. We will see here that they can not really take this charge move here. Those foul plays going to hurt. We will be able to win this matchup, I think, in the two shield scenario pretty easily because we just generate energy fast on them. We have to, of course, shield the moves here. It's going to be a heavy slam. We wouldn't need to shield this, but if it was a payback, we would have been screwed. We can go for another move here. We'll be able to get the shield from the opponent and we can go for another foul play here, which should do some pretty nice damage, but we see that they're going to shield it up again. I'm going to shield this up as well. And I should be able to realign. They go for the payback, so I know that I can overform a little bit as well. I go for only one, because I wasn't sure about the energy generation of faint attack. As we see now the opponent coming in with their Melama. I can go for one foul, foul play here, normal play, and you will see here now the issue with doing what I what I am doing. Um, they are having a high IV attack spread, so usually Victini wins basically CMP against nearly everything. And so for me, I just went for two weak rates now because I thought it was safe to because I will be able to win CMP. Turns out I was wrong. They will be able to win CMP just because they have a high attack IV spread there. Everything below that wouldn't do it. Like they have like 11 something, something like definitely high, high attack stat. Doesn't really matter for this game, but here's where it would pay out sometimes, I guess. But in general, it really depends. It's always like, uh, you, there is no right way. There's like always some benefits and uh, basically problems with having a certain IV spread that's more attack rated. So we see here Melamar against us again. We can just go ahead, go for our fall plays. We have a very good IV ranks. So we should be able, hopefully, to still win this matchup. We see them going for another one. You could also go for the Hyper Beam. I've never went for the Hyper Beam once, sadly, with the Melamar. You will not see a Hyper Beam this video. As we see them going for more foul plays, I can take them. They go into the clay doll to catch this move, which I mean, I'm fine. I can now go into my Bronzong and I will just go for the heavy slam here, trying to KO this thing so they cannot do anything about me. But they're actually going to shoot this move up because they're also at the move, but I can still realign here. Totally fine for me. I will be able to get to another move against whatever wants to come in there. We're not in Psycho Cut Down range if they want to go back into their Melama. And they want to go back into their Melama, so I can go for one payback here. Trying to do as much damage as I can, as we see that the payback gonna hit. And we see the Giraffe coming in, which also is double kick here, but I don't think they have anything to really hit me, so I'm gonna let this move go through. Going to be actually the Thunderbolt, which is crazier than I thought, but we have two V-Creates now already. This will be able to KO the opponent here, and we will be able to win this game as we see now uh, and also we will see now that we see the final battle here we see a rapid edge in the lead they are running the psycho cut still as far as i remember which was not the right play but they go into the deox defense kind of good for me because i think this matchup is pretty decent but it's kind of neutral against everything especially if like you don't know if they're on thunderbolt or they're on the rock slide because either of them can be really good in this kind of meta. I, I don't think you actually should run the Psycho Boost if you want to run this Pokemon in this meta, just because the Rock Slide is good against stuff, something like the Victini, while the other move, for example, would be good against Bronzong. We see them here having the Psycho Cut, and they go for the Body Slam here. I can just let this all go through, and they see a Victini also with the wrong move set yet. You should uh, swap to the Quick Attack, but it's fine. We can go for one Payback. They're going to shield this move up. We're just going to shield this move up as well now. We can just farm this thing all the way down. I really enjoy Confusion a lot, though, as well on Victini. I, I don't think that the Quick Attack completely made um, Confusion not viable anymore. But it's definitely a better way to go for the V create. But I think confusion damage helps a lot of times with matchups as well. And this is going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. And yeah, see you. Bye.